Now this next part of the question then, we've got to find f dash of x. And in the first part, we were given that f of x equaled this equation here, and we showed that it was equivalent to 9x to the minus half minus 24 plus 16x to the half, which means that since every term is possible now to differentiate, it's in the form for differentiating, we should be able to go straight ahead and do that. Remember that if you've got any term of the form y equals ax to the power n, then if you differentiate that with respect to x, what you do is you multiply the power with the number at the front, so you get a n, and reduce the power by 1. And whenever you've got a constant, like y equals a, dy by dx is always equal to 0. So, should be no problem then to differentiate each of these three terms. So we start with the first term. All we've got to do is multiply the power with the number at the front, so that's going to be minus 9 over 2. Reduce the power by 1, so you've got x to the power minus 1 and half. But don't write uh, minus 1 and half. Try and write it as minus 3 over 2, minus 3 halves. When it comes to the constant, minus 24, if you differentiate a constant, remember, it goes to 0. And for this term, similarly, treating it like this, half times 16 is 8. Reduce the power of x by 1, and you've got x to the minus a half. All right? So it said find f dash of x. That's the first differential. You should be able to leave it like that. If you did go ahead and just clean it up, you could write it like this. But this is fine. What you'd get is minus 9 all over 2 times x to the power 3 over 2. And for this one, plus 8 over x to the power half. You might even want to swap the two terms round, making this one lead because it's a positive term. So you obviously got 8 over x to the half minus 9 over 2x to the power 3 over 2. All right, so you could bring it down to that, say, if you want. But uh, essentially, there you go. There's the answer. All right, well, that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.